It is late November in Colorado, which has brought us some snow, some reduced visibilities and ceilings, so it's not the greatest day to go out and do some VFR flying. However, it is a great day to go out there and uh, put together a video related to the Navlog information, especially from the private pilot's perspective, to understand what is the information that ForeFlight is giving me on headings to fly, uh, and how does that relate back to true course, magnetic variation, wind correction angles, uh, etc. So uh, without further ado, here is a very basic flight plan from Aspen to Centennial, Colorado. And what I want to do is take a specific look at the leg from far to funds. Currently right now there's winds aloft included, uh, four flight showing a one knot tailwind, uh, but it's not specifically showing us what kind of crosswind we're dealing with out there. So it's set for right now, so I want to show you guys this leg. Look at the third row down and you'll see a magnetic uh, heading of 077. Okay, That is a magnetic course to fly, which for flight, that's the heading you would fly if you were in the aircraft and specifically it says it would take you 26 minutes to fly that leg. So if we go back here and change the time to not include any winds, so let's push it really far forward in the future, you're going to see a winds aloft not included. The estimated time of the departure is too far in the future show up. If we go back to that nav log and look at that third leg, you're going to see that that heading has changed now from 77 to 081 degrees magnetic. Uh, and now it's only going to take us 25 minutes to fly that leg. So without the wind in play, this is what you would see. So Again, if you were in the aircraft, that would be the heading you would fly. However, from a flight planning standpoint and understanding the foundation fundamentals of where that number comes from, I want you guys to pause this, take your sectional, and I'll even try to throw a uh, picture of this up on the screen. But if you took your plotter and put it over your iPad right here and spun it correctly, you would see a heading of 090 degrees true from far to fun. So again, 090 degrees true course is the actual heading from uh, far to funds. What we have to do at that point is take out the magnetic variation. In this specific leg, you'll see two numbers. One right here is nine and a half degrees east, and then a little bit further towards the east, you've got nine. So Let's take that 9 degrees and subtract off the 0, 090. 0. So uh, 90 true, subtract off the magnetic variation of 9. That ends up with 0, 081 degrees magnetic. Okay, so without wind, what you're able to see here is the 90 degrees true, subtract off the magnetic variation, you get the magnetic heading to fly uh, in the aircraft. Once you throw the wind into play, you start throwing in some crosswind, and that crosswind uh, then again changes the heading, which I think we saw earlier was 77. So uh, that will be for future reference, but very important for you guys to know what that true course comes from and how to apply that on the iPad.